Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Uh, in this video I want to speak about one of the most important currency in the whole game, gems. And the gems are difference between uh, free-to-play players and people who are spending money. As you can see, I have not even purchased the Ilya for a one dollar, which means I'm purely free-to-play. First of all, we need to understand how we can generate some gems and after that I want to tell you guys how to spend gems with the best value possible for the players who are not spending any money in this game. So, how it is possible to generate gems in the game? First and most importantly, there is events which are giving you gems. For example, right now, for me, there is a Dragon Trail race. If I can finish the Dragon Trail uh, race, I can get 2,000 2, gems. Second option is, of course, Alliance. Uh, when you are going to go to Alliance chapter and you are going to go to the gifts, you can see whenever your Alliance members are purchasing some bundles or, in general, playing some playing game, uh, there is a chance where you can generate some gems and as you can see uh, the teeny creature purchased a blaze of glory and I randomly get 10 gems here is 5 sometimes there is 100 and so on so what is important for a free to play player to be a, in a good alliance where people are spending some real money and if you are lucky you will be able to get more and more gems every day uh, other than that, uh, I think there is not an option for a free-to-play player to generate gems. And of course, I, I almost forgot there is Augustine Stone, where when you're gonna uh, finish the quest, you are getting some gems. Here is 100 gem, uh, 100 gem, and so on. But uh, in the end, that is not much. Uh, whenever you know that you are not getting more quality quantity of gems, you need to know how to spend them, right? First of all, uh, in my opinion, it is important to have a second builder. After that, uh, I suggest you to grind VIP shop at least for level 8, because whenever you are level 8, you are unlocking the research queue second, and you will be able to queue two research per one time. And that's really, really important. So first of all, second builder. Uh, second of all, uh, you can uh, you need to have a second research queue, and after that there is a couple of choices. Uh, if you are playing this game for a while, you understand that there is a couple of events, uh, reels, when a, reels when new champion appear and you need to buy the new champion with gems, like something like this. Uh, it's called Wheel of Destiny, and sometimes it's just a wheel. Uh, like for example in a season 1 there was a Kinara wheels, there was Medellin wheels uh, and so on. Right now, I, in my opinion, it's not a good idea to spend gems on this event because uh, I, I, in, my, in my opinion there is not much of value here. You need to get super lucky to, uh, uh, to get all of these heroes. So it's better to have an event when you are able to spend gems and get, for example, full Fagar. So choose if you are a marksman uh, legion. Like as you understand, when you are free to play, you don't have much of a choice. You need to have one main troop type, and you're gonna go for a heroes for that. So let's imagine there is a Kinara wheel, and you are playing with marksman. Uh, of course, you're gonna spend some gems and acquire Kinara uh, tokens from there, and that's how I got Kinara. Uh, I have five, three, one, one, and I hope Kinara will appear again uh, in the future, right? Also, uh, there are Madeline uh, wheels, and I, I I acquired Madeline through the wheel, so uh, that's a good way uh, to spend gems to acquire heroes which is needed for you. Uh, I think whenever you have a, for example, Marksman March or Mage March and there is a Madeline uh, hero event, uh, I, I, I don't think that there is a much value for you to spend gems. And as you can see, I have 30,000 gems, which means I'm 
not spending any of it and I'm waiting the best possible event for me to spend it, right? Well, I think that's it, right? Like, you need to have a second builder, you need to have a research queue uh, second, and, well, it depends on you. If you don't have any heroes to upgrade or it's not your wish, you can, uh, like, simply keep uh, upgrading your membership level. Like, uh, every level it gives you different type of buffs. For example, on 10 level you are getting 10 training speed, uh, training speed, bonus 50% and also second key uh, and so on. So mainly uh, as a free to play player you need to be uh, cautious with your gems. You should not spend gems on a buildings or you should not spend gems on a speed ups uh, or anything like that. Like you need to be collecting gems and uh, spending it wisely spending it for you like for example if you are a marksman you need to spend on a marksman heroes if you want if you are a mage you need to spend on a mage heroes and so on but as you already understand main way for a free to play player to generate as much gems as possible is by having a great alliance and for a great alliance you need to have you need to be a higher power now, right now, as you can see, I have only 7 uh, million powers, and until season uh, plus began, I had almost 9 million power. We had some troubles on a new server, uh, I, I had to reset twice, so like I lost approximately 2.5 million power, and as you can see, my uh, hospital is full, and I'm waiting for my uh, troops to recover. So here we go guys, like gems is important, be cautious, don't overspend it, remember it's always good to collect in this game because this game is a fighting game and also it's a collection game. Uh, feel free to uh, like my video and I hope my knowledge about playing this game without spending money will help you and every video which you're gonna see on this channel will be only for free to play players. Good luck. Bye-bye.